have got a fundamental stenciling video for you showing you the fun ways to get started using stencils and wood icing today. This is what the wood icing looks like. It's this great creamy wonderful texture in there. Kind of like um, I guess a creamy peanut butter would be a good way to describe it. You can spread this on with a palette knife or a credit card also works very well. So they're both good. I am going to scoop it out with the palette knife and I'm going to kind of put some there, put some there, and then I'm going to spread it with the uh, credit card hotel key. Obviously don't use a current credit card because this is really rough on the magnetic strip. And I'm just going to hold the stencil down with my hand. If you're worried about it moving, if you're more comfortable taping it down, tape it down. I'm, I'm not that, I'm just too impatient to tape it down. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. And so then you're just going to push this into the parts. I am kind of going with the pattern um, in that the pattern seems to kind of be running this way or the design. So I'm just sort of working it that direction. So as I'm doing this, um, and yes, I do dream of having hands that move this quickly. Um, I am scraping up some of the excess wood icing that's on top of the stencil. The reason I'm doing that is it will one, make things a lot easier to clean when I'm done. And two, why waste any wood icing? And I'll even scrape some off the top and I can put it back, whatever's not used, and actually put it right back in the jar and save it for next time. And then uh, that is what it looks like when you're all finished. It's got great texture to it. So now I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. And now I need to deal with kind of cleaning this guy off. I am going to use a baby wipe, or two, clean off my palette knife here, and get the lid back on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use the baby wipe, oh, this is going to be hard for you to see, I need to find something to put this on. So that you guys can see on my colorful background there. So that's what, there's wood icing on it right now. I'm not a big um, cleaner of the stencil type person, except when it comes to things like this, where I will actually go through and clean it off some. Not perfectly, mind you, but some. If I put this under the sink, then the wood icing will go down the sink. And the problem with that is that wood icing dries pretty solidly. So that means that it will dry pretty solidly in my pipes. So what I do is I just use a baby wipe and clean most of it off that way. If you are not a fan of wiping it off and that kind of thing, if you've got a tray of water, and I am gonna, this water will not go down my sink. This water will go out, will get dumped outside. So if you would prefer to do it this way, this is another way that you can clean them. So you can use the baby wipe or you can use the water. And those of you that are familiar with my videos, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, so you can see more of my videos. You know that I'm not a big fan of cleaning. So for me, this is just monumental that I'm even cleaning it this much. <laughs> Uh, but again, for things like wood icing, I will clean off my stencil somewhat. I will never get it back to that perfect, pristine, brand new look. And that doesn't bother me at all. Doesn't bother me a bit. Okay, so this, it's all dry. This was maybe 20 minutes or so. Obviously, it'll depend on the humidity of where you're at. But it doesn't take very long for this stuff to dry. And it is not perfectly smooth. I mean, obviously you've got the texture from that, but if you want to make it so it's a little bit smoother, run a little bit of sandpaper over it. Um, I don't even know what grit that is. And then I kind of shake off the dust. And you don't have to do that. It's personal preference. It's whatever you want to do. I have a brush. This is great for those old brushes that are well loved because when I'm doing this, I am really going to push to get the paint in there. And the reason why I push to get the paint in there is because I'm impatient. I want to go over this in one time, be done, 
because that's just my personality with this stuff. I'm sure if I was a more patient human being, I probably wouldn't have to push my paintbrush in there, but it's just easier to do this for me. Because, I don't know, was it too much Sesame Street as a kid, that instant gratification thing? Push that in there. It does, uh... And this is nice if you've got a really stiff bristled brush. You know the kind after it gets a lot of paint gumped up in it because you didn't clean it out right away or forgot to clean it at all or... You know, those kinds of things. I'm not saying I've ever done that. No. Mm -mm. So anyway, putting this on here. And I can leave this as it is with the yellow. Just like that, this is a great texture to create something just as it is. Get out on my palette. And I'm going to use a brayer. If anybody jelly plates, this is also a great way to clean off your brayer when you've got paint on it from that. And I'm just going to roll across this. And by rolling over it, now it picks up some of that pattern. And all of a sudden, I've got a much bolder look from that stencil with the wood icing. Well, thanks for watching this fundamental stenciling video showing you fun ways to get started with stencils and wood icing. Well, now it's your turn to play. Grab a stencil, grab some wood icing, and go have some fun. You can find more stencil ideas at stencilgirltalk.com, as well as other ways that people are using wood icing. And now comes the part for my shameless plug for me, Carolyn Doobie. If you're still here at this point in the video, you probably liked what you saw. So, I have a favor to ask. Can you help me out and share this video? Help me get the word out about my art and my videos. I greatly appreciate your help in this. Thank you.